Back here on First Things First, we got Chris Broussard with us. <clears throat> Broussard, we had a scary moment for the Sixers fans Friday night when Joel Embiid left the game after landing awkwardly, coming off that dunk. Thankfully, though, an MRI revealed no structural damage, just a bone bruise that'll sideline Joel for two weeks until he's reevaluated. Chris Broussard, how will Joel Embiid's injury impact the MVP race now moving forward, if at all? Well, Jenna, oh, it impacts it. it. It opens it up. It makes it wide open for LeBron James to win his fifth MVP award and match the greatest player of all time, Michael Jordan. So it's there for LeBron, but it, it, look at Embiid. <laughs> he was my front runner at this point, and he was m many people's front runner. If he comes back in two weeks and plays the rest of the season, which is obviously unlikely with he usually sits out here and there, he will have still missed more than 20% of the games. No player has won the MVP award mi missing anything close to that since writers began voting in 1981. All right, so it, it, Embiid is essentially out of the MVP race. So it's there for the taking for LeBron James. The problem is this. The Lakers have only been 8-7 and seven this season without Anthony Davis. Davis is out the next two weeks as well. If LeBron can lead them on a nice run without AD, he could put himself squarely in first place. They've lost six of their last nine, though, without Anthony Davis. So LeBron's got to pick it up and get the Lakers going without AD. Now, if Nick were a voter, which he's not, he would say that James Harden is not in this race. All right, James Harden is LeBron's biggest challenger at this point. But Nick says the way he left Houston disqualifies him from the race. Now, I'll give Nick this. If we were voting for president of the Glee Club or leader of the church <laughs> choir, I might be with him. Okay, but this is about hoop. This is about basketball. And James Harden is straight up balling. The Nets are 19-6 and six with him. They've won tw 12 of their last 13 with him. Basically all of it without Kevin Durant. And his numbers are fantastic. If the Nets run away from the rest of the East in the second half of the season and Harden continues to play this way, he's going to have a major chance to win it. few other possibilities. Chris Paul, if, if Phoenix continues to be the yeah. second seed, which I don't see. And Luka, my preseason pick, and I think Knicks too, is making a run. Dallas the A seed, but they've won 11 of their last 14. Yeah. If they continue to move up and maybe get to a four seed, then Luka may have a chance. But right, it's there for the taking okay. for LeBron James. So, listen, I don't want to dive into the Harden stuff right now because it's a very interesting thing Broussard said. He was like, you can't miss 20% of the season and be MVP. Here's a guy, though, who, according to Broussard's numbers, has played 25 games, and he could win it. Wait, no, he played more than that. But some of those were in Houston. But those games don't count because those hurt his case. But they do count for his total numbers. I don't understand. Somebody galaxy brain that for me. But you left a name out. So here's the thing. I want to show a blind stat reveal and put Broussard up with me Ooh. if we can show this. Broussard, looking at these two people, would you agree that they have damn near identical arguments? If I were to tell you their teams have almost identical records, would you say those two arguments yes. are about the same? Okay, show who those Stats two people are, are because one, of them, one of them you didn't mention. Okay, so just I have a question for you and then I want to respond. Why is Giannis not on the list? Why is he not included? Right, right the now, because, well, he's not a front runner because Milwaukee's not having a great end of, great season record-wise. He's in the race. Now, is it impossible? The fact that he's won the last two and then fizzled in the playoffs will work against him. But winning three straight is not impossible, especially in this season. But you're right. I, I but left him out. But that you said, he's, he's, he can be in the race. Most people... Most people are arguing the reason Giannis is not even a, a forethought is because of what happened in last year's playoffs. Because he won last year and because he fizzled out in the playoffs. And if that is going to work against Giannis, I asked Chris Broussard, our esteemed MVP voter, if last year's playoffs can work against someone, why are they not allowed to work for someone? So last year in the playoffs, LeBron was amazing. 
We can't talk about it. It's a regular season this year award. Last year in the playoffs, Giannis stunk. We have to talk about it, even though it's a regular season post, wait, award. I'm confused. So the playoffs from last year count negatively against Giannis, and the fact that he won it last sir. year counts negatively against Giannis. But <clears> LeBron, <throat> the <throat> fact that he didn't win it and hasn't won it in seven years, can't count for him, and the fact that he was the best player in the playoffs count camp four. It just seems odd to me. Can you explain that as a voter? Because I'm not a voter. Yes. So I don't know what you guys talk yes. about in your meetings. Explain I it to me, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know good and well we don't have meetings. But anyway, it's not just that LeBron or Giannis won it last year. It's that he won it the last two years. Okay? He won the MVP last two years and fizzled out in the playoffs both times. Now, for some voters, it may not be a factor. If the, if the Milwaukee Bucks came out and were winning at the pace they won that last year, Giannis would be right there in the race. I guarantee you. They were on a 70-win pace last year. They're not this year. They're third in the East. That's the problem. It's the same reason LeBron doesn't have more than four. Because when he was in Cleveland his second go-round, they won 52 games, 50 games. Like, he coasted. A, the team didn't play as well in the regular season. And regular season record is a factor. Milwaukee is kind of experimenting with some defensive things. They're not winning as much because they know it's really about the playoffs for us. So that's the reason. Again, if Giannis were winning at the same clip as last year, oh, you better believe he'd be up there. Because Larry Bird, Bill Russell, and Will Chamberlain have won three straight. So it's not impossible to win three straight MVP awards. I'm so annoyed with you guys. Y'all know so much about basketball, and y'all been covering it for so long, but yet y'all continue to get this conversation wrong. Look, so the question is, uh, does MB's injury impact the MV MVP race? Absolutely. 70, 72 games. Uh, he's already missed eight. Uh, let's say, let's put it at three weeks. They said, you know, they're going to reevaluate him in two weeks. I had the same injury. He can get back on the court, you know, let's say in a week, potentially two. But let's put it at three just to be safe. Big dude, he's, he's, he's carrying a lot of weight, a lot more weight than the average guy. So let's say that's another 12 games. That's that, those 20 games that you talked about, Chris. And then he's never been a guy that, that played every single game. So down the stretch, he's probably going to miss a handful of games. So he's definitely out of it. But here's my thing. This MVP trophy, this MVP deal, it's not a charity case. So you keep talking about LeBron, and, 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 you're, and we're not highlighting James Harden enough. Like LeBron James, you guys just said it. Without AD, he's lost six out of nine. And we're talking about winning, winning, winning. Well, he's trending in the wrong direction. Now, going on a, a run, that's going to be easy out of the break. We, we, look who they're playing. Minnesota, Golden State, Charlotte. You, like, Yeah, it's not daunting at all. But after that, after the month of March, let's see where the Lakers are, if, and depending on where AD's at. James Harden, on the other hand, he hasn't had his number one player. He hasn't had KD. And what have they been doing? Nothing but win, win, win. This dude is playing phenomenal. This is the dude that came in out of shape. This is the dude that they said he couldn't, he's not going to be able to adapt. So for me, you know, yes, Embiid is out of it, probably. You know, so it's going to be hard for him, Wilds. But when you look at James Harden, to me, it's James Harden's damn MVP to lose, not LeBron James and not Jokic. Ooh. All right, Broussard, the, the, the thing that I'm trying to figure out, since you're the only real voter, is who do you think <laughs> the narrative leans to? Since the since the numbers are gonna be similar, like well, we just saw Yana, who do you think the, like we saw like, do you feel like the narrative is trending towards LeBron? Because we know if you do something special one year, like Russ had the narrative, then he averaged triple-double again, it's like, well, you lost the narrative. And, and James Harden, whatever numbers you wanna put up there, it feels like the narrative is lost versus LeBron feels like the narrative is gaining. Who do you think is leading the narrative race? That's a great point, uh, Wilds. LeBron's clearly got the narrative race. And now, I, don't, I try not to vote on narrative. I try to go on who had the best season, but LeBron definitely has the narrative, <laughs> and it, I'm sure it affects some voters. There's no doubt about it. Like, people want to see LeBron get it. There is a, he has been the best player in the world the Charity. last 10 years and hasn't won an MVP in a long time. 
I, I'm not saying I'm voting yep. for him because of that, but that is a factor. Harden, because, you know, with Nick, he was so nasty in Houston. Oh, my gosh. How can you give it to him? There are other guys that feel that way. He hurt Nick's feelings. So, it means some guys feel some guys that way. But I'm telling you, Brandon's Bruce right. Hard. Hold on. Wait I mean, a minute. It's, it's wait, 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 Okay, hold on. Yeah. Does the whole season... Why you interrupt the guy when he say, I'm right? <laughs> does the whole season count for MVP? Does the whole... Does Nick, game it one was, count? Uh, yes, seven, no, but he was... At, no. It, it, he was in Houston on. for I'm, nine I'm games. Direct questions yes, here. yes. Okay, so nine over 72. That's actually easy math. That's one-eighth. So that's 12.5% of the season. So 12.5% of the season... He gets an F. Would you agree? <laughs> well, he well, didn't. He didn't get an F. Well... His oh, first oh, game, he, he had Houston. 44. He was valuable. And his they first lost. three games, he was balling. And they so were if you want to say what, they were five, one and two, and five you or just six. told me, no, 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 okay. no, no. Okay, no. so of you, a three-game stretch, you're really holding against him. If, no, if five, I'm saying, hold on. What, if you want to hold those five or six games against him. It's nine games. They were one and two in Houston. It's in Houston. He was not valuable. No. No. Stop it, it Nick. This is ridiculous. Guys, sorry. Guys, no, guys, you've got to answer guys. this question. Wait, right. no, hold on. Wait. <laughs> what? You've got okay, to answer this question. A nine game stretch. He, wait, they go? Jenna, hold on. Was he valuable to Houston? <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Okay. All right. Because well, then, when, okay, he well, hard, crazy. when he played hard, when he played hard, when he played hard, they won. James Harden, he's going to win the man of the year for Houston this year. I, I, I buy that. 12.5% of the season, Nick, he was a zero. It's nine 